Hoffman! So what are we going to call this new Star Wars video? Um, Star Wars What's Next? That's crap. Star Wars New Era? Crap! Oh, I got it! Empire Strikes Back. I like it. But it's taken! Oh, I got it! Star Wars What's Next? Dude, we gotta talk about this! Alright, so here we are with another video. But just a quick little side note, I wanted to throw in... It is indeed possible, very 99% possible, that the writer's strike is over! It still has to be technically, you know, like, voted upon, but my bro and I really wanted to do this video, especially since after Ahsoka Episode 7. By the way, I'm loving that series so far, and so far, 10 out of 10, definitely. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I wanted to do with my brother the future of Star Wars, where possibly the future of Star Wars could go, and what we could possibly, very possibly, expect. So, thank you to... Santa, Nicholas, Claus, and more for these video clips and images, and please take this video with a grain of salt because we have no proof that this is actually going to happen. And our first piece of theory today goes for General Thrawn, or Grand Admiral Thrawn, or... It's about Thrawn! I don't know what kind of title he possesses. <laughs> it is Grand Admiral. Okay, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Man, I mean, I'm like, I'm watching the Ahsoka series, why am I not paying attention? <laughs> So, anyway, I think, we think that the future of the Imperial Era rests on the shoulders of Grand Admiral Thrawn. For, as we all know, Darth Vader is dead, Darth Sidious is dead, Moff Gideon is dead, and he's basically the only dude who is alive that could revive the Empire. So, <laughs> so we think that the final episode in Ahsoka, um... When, or even if, Ahsoka faces off against Thrawn in the finale, which you know, might not actually happen. I don't even think they're going to get I mean, to him. <laughs> he, he, he might sneak away and Ahsoka might not even know. Pew! But anyway, uh, we think that ah Ahsoka and Thrawn are probably going to at least meet up with each other again. Oh, yeah. But... Somehow, some way, Thrawn is going to get off the planet, return to the main Star Wars galaxy, and then serve as the big bad for the next couple of movies slash shows. And he could potentially be the villain for a Mandalorian movie, possibly making Ahsoka Tano and Sabine Wren the most important characters of that movie. Because, as we stated earlier, I just had to throw this in there, I mean, everyone, Darth Vader is dead, Darth Sidious is dead, Moff Gideon is dead, basically every Star Wars villain is dead. Yeah. Welcome to the new norm. Because for the longest time, a Mandalorian movie has been rumored, consisting of characters such as Din Djarin, now Din Grogu, Bo-Katan, Boba Fett, and Ahsoka Tano. And because of where the series is going, Sabine Wren will most likely be one of those characters. Well, not only that, but uh, recently I got a uh, magazine that talked about Ahsoka, and that's kind of where we got the idea for this video, and it says that Mando movie is confirmed. Yeah, exactly. And worked on. That and... It's happening! <laughs> let us not forget that... Also, it has been rumored that there is going to be a Mandalorian and Rebels crossover. Oh, yeah, there, there are now rumors circulating, you know, ever since Zeb showed up. Yeah, the, there have been rumors saying that Ahsoka, the show, and Mandalorian are going to, like, get a combined series. Well, I mean, yeah, because characters of the Mandalorian and characters of the Ahsoka series know certain characters from either sides, so, I mean, it could be very easy for the both of these sides to yeah, forge together. Yeah, come together and take on Thrawn or something. And that combined with the fact that uh, Grogu, who was going to be a Jedi but is now Mandalorian, and the fact that Sabine Wren is best friends with Ezra Bridger, who is a Jedi, most of the Mandalorian believed that the Jedi were evil and were against them. But characters like Ahsoka Tano, Grogu, and Sabine Wren with Ezra Bridger proved these rumors false. To the new norm. 
<laughs> so, with just how the the show, this Arca show is going, and what has been teased about the Mandalorian movie, and like what their motivation is going to be like, it really seems like Ahsoka is going to be a very, very important character in the Mandalorian movie, and probably for the Star Wars franchise as a whole moving forward. Well, I mean, yeah, because she was the first Jedi who left the Order but still uses the Force. Therefore, if people want to use the Force and want to use you know, Jedi-like abilities, there is another way for them aside from keeping the Star Wars traditions. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> so, um... Well, and as a Ahsoka fan, I kind of would like to see more of the character moving forward. Oh, like, yeah, absolutely. <coughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, what's up? No, I'm okay. <laughs> also, uh, while we're talking about Ahsoka, um... Uh, I just found out a couple of days ago, or whenever, uh, gosh, uh, anyway, uh, I was, there have been rumors circulating around the internet that Ahsoka is going to get a season two. Yeah, yeah, so hence, henceforth, another reason for Thrawn to escape, and, you know, Ahsoka to fight him and the Empire. And let us also not forget Boba Fett, because I was a big fan of the Boba Fett series that came out. I absolutely loved it, and if Mandalore is dragged into uh, the mix of a Mandalorian movie, if not even General Thrawn threatening to take over Tatooine with an iron fist like Jabba the Hutt did so. I mean, it's just, it will only be natural for Boba Fett to take up arms with his friends and just fight alongside them because I really, really want that. And it's just so obvious. I don't know. I don't know how he does it. But there's no back on my soul before he moves and after he moves, that's attack. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> I had to do that. I had to throw that in there. Oh my gosh. But anyway, that could also set up Fennec Shan to be in the Mandalorian movie as well. As we all know from the book of Boba Fett that Fennec Shan is Boba Fett's right-hand woman. And this could also possibly set up the future of the character, or rather the past for the character, when it comes to the rumored Boba Fett season 2, consisting of a character long thought to be dead, Mace Windu. The actor who plays Boba Fett said that he would love to go back into the past and play a more Mandalorian um, bounty hunter role for Boba Fett. Like, what happened to Boba Fett before the Sarlacc, the Sand People, Tatooine, everything like that? And Mace Windu could possibly play a huge major plot point because as we all know from the Clone Wars, Boba Fett had it out for Mace Windu for killing his father, Jango Fett. <laughs> but when it comes to what the future looks like for Mark Hamill and Luke Skywalker, I have absolutely no idea. And when it comes to the Bad Batch, I would absolutely love to see them somewhere in this era. True, they would be older by now, but I mean, hey, Captain Rex survived in the Star Wars Rebels series. Why can't they? And let us not forget, Omega is older than any other member of the Bad Batch members. So, she would at least still be alive, but the others would probably be aged just like Captain Rex was. Where they could play a part in? Definitely against the Empire and definitely against Thrawn, since they are genetically mutated clones. And that's the video of the day. So, make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And please remember that I will be going live on 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys want to hang out with me for that evening and comment uh, your questions on the live chat, make sure to do that. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing and talking to you guys. On October the 1st.
Thanks, Ma! <laughs> With all that said and done, respect for I guys out there. Peace out.